أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This path of ours its first gate is that to be nothing If I am nothing then I'm not looking for everything about me I'm not reading Qur'an about me I'm not thinking about everything about me and me with Allah I'm nothing. All Allah has to do with me, nothing. That's a gate for marifah and in that marifah they walk through as if they're nothing because you said at the gate you're nothing. This earth of a dot and an epsilon in the middle of nowhere. You look on the internet and you see zoom out, look to the Milky Way, the earth is forget it, you can't find it. Allah is concerned only with Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah loves His servant, He wants to bring them towards His marifah, realities, not of Himself. I want to bring you towards what I love, I love Muhammadur Rasulullah I want to show you what gifts I've given to that reality and that soul. Sakhal lakum ma fi samawati wa ma fi I have given you whatever is in the heaven, whatever is on the earth and anything in between in case they come to argue with you later on. So Allah now is describing this world of light that this soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is the power that powering everything and Allah is on his heart. When you're talking about an authority of light then Allah don't think through the body. This light that covering entire universes, it doesn't sleep. The power of the soul, Nurul Anwar wa Sirat al Asrar, the secret of that light, it never sleeps, it never slumbers, and is ever vigilant over everything. Where Allah gave us then this understanding in the world is Wi Fi. Allah say, why is it so difficult for you to understand that in the center of all of this creation there's something called Muhammadun Rasulullah and He's emitting a Wi-Fi signal for the entire of creation. And that reality is high and it's Qayyum. This qudra and power that coming out is a soul, we're not talking about a body, we're talking about a, a light like a star that even we can't imagine what type of light that is. And every photon of that light like a Wi-Fi it's coming to you. It's hitting you and powering you. If that Wi-Fi and the signal of that drops from you, you cease to exist. And that's why Allah described that fiqh. His signal is entirely around you and in you. Everything about that light is powering you. Look to one person and see that four trillion cells within your body, every cell has a signal coming, every cell is like a mobile phone. Every cell in the body needs to know what are its coordinates. There is nothing random in Allah's creation. Same with the flower, the flower is, is in need of that signal. When the signal comes, the flower is growing, 
the flowers blossoming means everything in this creation requires that signal. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties, including all your financing needs. We are one-stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty. Eastern cultures use teas and herbs as an elixir of health and wellness. Rumi Rose Teas revives this ancient tradition with a collection of over 40 delicious hand-blended teas. Enjoy God-given health and wellness within every cup of Rumi Rose Tea. Order online now. Everything in this creation requires that signal. So that signal is broadcasting out, sending throughout your entire universes and no one encompasses anything from that knowledge unless it has permission of Prophet Allah is just saying, this knowledge of everything in this universe is known by no one. This is what we call above binary code is machine language. And that's why Allah inspired us to make computers. Nobody can talk or type in binary code, one and zero, on and off. This on and off is the reality of Allah on and the signal continuously coming to Prophet reality. That is the knowledge of the entire created universe. It's not the knowledge of these, these had the dunya and the earth knowledge, it's the knowledge that everything that being sustained, every planet in the farthest galaxy, in the farthest universes, all of those uloom and knowledges that come from Allah into the soul of Prophet illuminating and nourishing and keeping everything alive the way Allah wanted to be alive. This way of reality is something mind-boggling, heart-boggling that one Allah has bestowed upon that reality. And how that reality is emanating lights and powers and qudra. When they don't understand the importance of Mawlid and Nabi it's not something small. It's the step in which to move towards that reality. This energy now begins to like a microwave hit you at a strength that you can't imagine. It's a power for the entire universe. As soon as you praise one time upon Sayyidina Muhammad he asks just one time from his nation, he wants to give the greatest gift to his nation. Praise me one time, you don't know what I'll address me with. 
Because then Allah will send my nazar to be upon you, send my soul to be upon you. What does that mean? He said, my nazar will be on you. What type of qudra and power dressing upon these ahbab, these lovers? They reached a level that nobody could understand and said, was this from your salah? Was this from your zakah? Where was this from? My love, I praise one time and all these doors opened for me and dressed me, blessed me, cleaned me. What my sin? They don't have any sin in the presence of that reality. Because you love me and I love you, you entered into my heart, I'm going to dress you with what Allah has dressed me. Then Allah describes a holy hadith in which he's talking about the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad He wants Prophet tell your people, they'll understand one day, especially your companions understand right away but they'll understand the generations come later. That I am the eyes in which you see, I am the hearing in which you hear, I am the breath in which you breathe, the tongue in which he speaks, the hand means the power of Allah's power or in the hands of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad With this power of hearing, seeing, speaking, touching, moving, inherits that to awliya. As they're approaching the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet began to dress them, you're going to have from my hearing because you never go above Prophet It's ihtiram and adab, stand behind your shaykh, never walk in front of your shaykh. Don't think yourself to be in front of him, walk behind him. What do you think they were Prophet Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. Allah 
they have the eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad on the earth and they spreading that power. That's why when they describe the Qudra and the power of awliyaullah, imagine when they have that type of vision what they see, what their soul is empowering because their eyes have a Wi-Fi and they send out the signal that Prophet wants to be sent out. Because you're without a signal you're like dead filled with sins. When their eye comes and hits and scans you immediately it can come back to life in an instant, not something difficult. Their hearing is dressing and blessing, their vision dressing and blessing, their speech dressing blessing and then with your hand you changed my whole destiny. As soon as they teach you from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad your entire destiny now just changed because this knowledge will dress you and bless you and change everything about your reality. So how they got that? They went into Prophet When Prophet they surrendered, at that stage Allah will order them taslim, submit to the king. As soon as they taslimed and submitted for the order, waiting for the order, Prophet's light has overtaken them, pushed them out of every type of negativity and becomes their hearing, their seeing, their hands, their feet means the light of Prophet is inside of them. When they go out, fikum, like little ships, they go out onto the earth. With what light they're coming to you? Their light begin to enter into you and become your seeing. They see through your eyes, they hear through your ears, they can speak through your tongue, they can move through your hands, they can inspire your qadam and your feet. And you say, but I want to experience it, then get yourself out of the way. They're already inside of you but you can't, you're fighting the inspiration that coming to you. Who's fighting is your big nafs. The big nafs is in there saying, no, I'm going to hear with my hearing and I'm going to see with my seeing and I'm going to talk definitely for my talking. So this is the big battle inside. When Allah inspire you to be amongst awliya through presence and through video wherever they're reaching means they've reached now inside of you. So then that's why the adab of tariqah, keep your vision down because they look through your eyes and they don't like what you're looking at. They can hear through your ears and they don't like what they're hearing. So then they begin to move their energy out. Who's the one who fails and who's the one who succeeds? The one whom Allah described in Qur'an, the one whom purified himself truly has been given a gift. Because as soon as he purifies himself, especially in the company of this reality, he, he watches and she watches what, he, what she hears and tries not to hear bad and begin now they can hear through the ear because the truth and false they don't play with each other. That's how they're doing it. Prophet is hearing through them not because they're dirty people but they took a life in which to clean themselves so that Sayyidina Muhammad would accompany their hearing and say, now I can hear for you, I'll give you from that gift. So then they say, clean your speech so that you can speak on that behalf and that is the whole concept of the madad. The madad is to train in which you're nothing, to train in which you're nothing get yourself out of the way, get your opinion out of the way, get all your thoughts out of the way and take a path in which to be nothing. And they keep testing you to see if you have an opinion. They don't care for it nor do they want it because it's that opinion that got you in trouble and brought you here in the first place. It's all your character that's bad that has to be destroyed. When you have absolutely nothing left, nothing left, nothing left and you died within yourself 
then all of these faculties can come to life that they will give you the hearing and you hear what nobody can imagine to hear. You see what nobody could imagine to see. You speak realities that nobody can speak from that reality. And that becomes the inheritance of that hadith, holy hadith we pray Allah will address us from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata amma yasifoon, assalamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa rahmati Muhammad al Mustafa, wa bi siri suruhul
وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد